Nigeria's real estate sector is experiencing a remarkable surge filled by a combination of factors that have positioned it as one of the most dynamic and uh, promising markets in Africa. Critical to this growth is the country's rapidly expanding population. With a steady influx uh, of uh, uh, urbanization, of course, Nigeria's housing and real estate uh, housing and real estate demands have soared, creating a thriving ecosystem for developers, investors, and home buyers alike. Let's discuss how to maximize returns and achieve optimal return on investment in the Nigerian real estate market. I'm being joined by the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Fine Bricks Property and Investment Limited. A key player in this industry is Mr. Oladeji Adeoye. Thank you so much, Mr. Adeoye. It's good to have you on the program. Thank you, Tolu I'm happy to be here. I'm going to start with, uh, uh, you seem to have done a lot or made a mark in the industry in just two years or so, if I'm correct. I'd like you to take us through uh, your journey. How has it been? How did you get to this point? Okay, once again, um, thank you so much. I'm, I'm happy to be on your program. Um, uh, the truth of the matter is um, the passion is genuine. Uh, there, there is a need to, to reduce the housing deficit in, in the country. And um, I felt uh, I should also contribute my own quota in my only two way. To that and that 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 is actually the the primary motivation of all this and to God be the glory we've been able to do a lot uh, we've been able to make landlords and landladies we've been able to deliver houses to to our clients and our clients all over the world can testify to this. Well, wait to start me? this. Go ahead. You want to make a point? Oh, okay. So I said our clients, our clients all over the world can testify to this. Um, within just uh, 24 months, uh, we've been able to deliver over uh, 500 units of um, uh, landed properties and houses to our clients all over the world. I'm going to now ask you, in a country where we battle inflation, uh, and of course, I want to ask how a real estate player will still be able to manage uh, quality, of course, and uh, uh, before talking about profit here. Yeah. Okay, so um, because we understand this and because it's not just, um, we're not doing it because, we're not doing it by mistake, we understand this, uh, we try as much as possible to stay informed, uh, to understand uh, government re uh, regulation, to understand the economy itself, to understand every aspect of, of the business. Um, also, we ensure that we don't extend our, our, our period of construction for too long. We try to, to limit it with time. It's though most of our projects, our construction projects, our off-plan projects, because we know that you know, it's going to be difficult for, for, for home buyers or clients to, to just drop huge amounts of money. So we decide to make it easy for them. Uh, we do off plan. You pay, we build, you pay, you see at every milestone you can you can check your results, you can you can measure what you've been able to do. But again, we don't uh, we ensure not to extend it for too long so that it will not affect us. Um, another thing we do again is um, uh, because of the exchange rate and things like that, we, we try as much as possible to um, ensure we get all our materials ahead. We don't wait for, uh, you know, we have six-month payment plan, we have 12-month payment plan, we, but we don't wait for that. We use our own our fund to get all those materials so that by the time there's a fluctuation in, in price or whatever, it doesn't affect us. Uh, just like a project we're running in um, Ajay, it's just a 12 unit of uh, a two-bedroom apartment. We started um, four or five months ago, and as at then, cement was selling for I think four, 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 five. But now it's selling for five thousand three hundred. But because we've been able to to key down all those things, it it might not really affect us that much. Again, we also do a, a fixed price contract with most of our suppliers. We we pay them in advance, maybe fifty percent, sixty percent just in order to be able to secure the, the material so that whenever there is price increase or whatever, 
uh, will not have uh, um, issues. Um, again, we do portfolio, uh, portfolio diversification. Uh, we just don't do construction. We, we do site and service. Uh, we do JVs, we do other uh, investments that can also give us other, uh, that can give us uh, other uh, good revenue that will also uh, be able to help other ones that are weak. Let me ask you that what really are the common pitfalls to be aware of when investing in the real estate market? So um, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, lack of uh, due diligence. A lot of home buyers, a lot of um, investors don't do this. And it has always been affecting them, especially uh, Nigerians in diaspora. And, and this has been given a lot of uh, uh, bad uh, images about uh, real estate developers in Nigeria. I, I think that before you engage yourself in anything uh, business, you should be able to know the product. You should know the product. Why? Why? Who is selling this product for me? What? What? Who are the people in charge? Uh, do they have the right to sell it? You know, for example, you want to buy land. If you go to the land, after telling you all the stories and everything, uh, the landmark is Dangote Refinery, this, 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 is close to paradise or whatever, you yourself need to go there. Go there, pick your coordinates. If you don't know how to do it, there are apps that you can use to do that, there are applications on your phone that you can use to pick your coordinates. But if you can't do that, you can engage professionals. Uh, professionals like surveyors, they can do that for you, pick the coordinates, the agencies in Alausa, in government that can tell you the status of the land, tell you who owns the land, tell you what the land has, tell you if the land is committed. So if you don't do this, you end up falling prey to, to uh, uh, fraudulent people. That's, that's number one. Um, another thing is greed. Greed. Most homeowners I don't know, maybe they are over anxious or something. Uh, they, they tend to uh, uh, engage themselves. I want to buy luxury at a cheaper price. There's no way you can buy luxury cheap. Luxury is not cheap. Luxury is not cheap. We all know what is happening in the country. We all know how, how the price keeps increasing every day, you know, uh, now and then. And you want to buy a property, you are looking for a five bedroom fully detached in Lekki for 30 million. And you know, because the business is viable, the business is good, the profit is okay. You have a lot of um, developers, a lot of fraudulent people in it. So if they see you that you're greedy, uh, they can take advantage of you. So you have to be very, very careful on the pricing. If the pricing is too good, it can affect you. It can seriously affect you. Um, also, a lot of persons don't like involving professionals. Professionals like lawyers, professionals like the Soviet that I've mentioned earlier, even the, the, the real estate agent as a realtor that, that is helping you. A lot of persons try to bypass them thinking, if I do this, I can, I can save myself a cost. And, and at the end of the day, they end up biting their fingers. So these are things we need to be careful of. Uh, you can't neglect professionals. There are people who are in that business, who are in that industry, to assist you. The lawyer is there to help you in proper documentation, to help you put everything right <clears throat> so that you don't have issues at the end of the day. The surveyor is there to help you confirm the authenticity of the land. You know, so you can't just, you can't go, you can't avoid these people. You have to. Sorry, can you hear me? Go ahead. You're loud and clear. Oh, okay. Okay. So this, this, People are very, very important. And if you don't engage them, I've, I've engaged uh, uh, one or two uh, uh, persons from, from the diaspora uh, market that says uh, they gave their parents money to get them houses and when they came back to the country they discovered that where they go for them is not what they want. So things like this can also be a problem. So we need to be aware of this. If 
if you want to do any investment, you have to have the understanding. You have to know what you are doing. Mm. Very, very interesting. Back to evaluating the potential of uh, return on investment. So considering the realities on ground, uh, that's what I'm asking you. How are you able to manage up with business now? Because many will say, uh, maybe developers are cutting corners. <laughs> it's not been easy. Everybody knows it's not been easy. Mm. But like I said earlier, um, we try to diversify. Um, we, we, construction has been a bit uh, uh, on the difficult side, but uh, we as a company, we as Fine Bricks, our utmost uh, desire, our utmost promise is to deliver timely and not just on time, to also deliver quality. So, like I said, we we try to buy these things before because we are we are informed about the market. We know sometimes our suppliers will tell us that this price is going to go up in the next two three months. We look at the market. It's okay. Let's put our money there. Let's fix it down. When people pay, we know that the money comes back to us. So we've been able to do all these things, and God has been helping us. Mm. Very, very, very interesting. Let's now talk about risk management uh, in the context of real estate investment uh, for optimal uh, return on investment. How do we manage risk in this business? Uh, thank you so much. Um, the truth of the matter is that risk management is uh, it's, um, a crucial part of uh, uh, real estate investment because it allows you to identify your or it, it allows you to identify and mitigate any potential errors, any potential risk that might come in, you know. But again, for you to be able to do this effectively, there are things you need to know. There are things you need to do. Um, for me, due diligence is part of it. You need to know you can't go and buy committed land and be praying to God that God should change the heart of government. We can see what is happening in Lekki today. You know, uh, I'm sure some persons, if they have done their due diligence, they will not have fall uh, victim of all this. You know, I can't imagine you after spending years to 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 gather your money and you put it into a business without understanding it, and you put it into buying a house. And at the end of the day, government is coming to tell you that uh, there's a canal somewhere, there's this somewhere, there's no document, there's no this, there's no that. So. It can be very, very, very disheartening. So due diligence is part of it. You have to understand that. Um, also, uh, legal compliance. It's a pivotal, it plays a pivotal role in risk management. There are things that are legal understanding you need to have, and that's why you also need to engage lawyers, engage professionals in the legal aspect. Uh, also understanding the market trend. You need to know, why am I buying this? What is the purpose? There are different kinds of investment. You can buy your property for commercial use. You can buy it for, for residential use. So you need to understand it. That why are you doing this? Why am I buying it? Uh, you cannot buy a property that is meant for, for a long time return on investment. And you'll be expecting a short time return on investment. So, in, in, hello? You are, yeah, we can hear you clearly. Go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. So that's that's part of it. Uh, you need to be able to analyze your market very well and know when to buy, when not to buy. You should also have an exit plan. You know when to leave, when to flip it, when to sell it, when to. So these are ways you can be able to reduce your risk. You know. Uh, before I let you go, what will be your outlook for the entire uh, property space, uh, considering? Low purchasing power and all of that. What 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 is your outlook? So I I think I think uh, uh, governments should do more. Uh, is is sincerely not been easy with us because, uh, uh, and that's why most of our, our projects are short payment plan. You know, if you go outside outside the country, you can do a twenty years payment plan. You can do a mortgage of. 30 years, you can do 23 years. But here you can't do it because most of the projects are being sponsored by ourselves and probably uh, clients that, that understands that. And, and majority of, 
of, of, of the home buyers uh, actually wanted to, they have the, the, the mindset of, of getting properties, but they don't have the ability. So if government can assist in helping us to... <laughs> Hello, can you, hear, can you hear me? Go ahead. We can hear you. Oh, okay. okay, because I'm seeing some distraction. So if government can, can assist in all this, it, it will really go a long way. Again, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> government, 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 it has to be government because if the economy is good, people will be happy. Indeed, the economy is good. Everyone will be happy. Thank you so much, Mr. Oladeji Adeoye, Managing you. Director, CEO, Fine Bricks Property and Investment Limited. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much.